I want to tell you something. Picture this. A ship on the high seas, full of seamen, comes to port with its resources. It's called the birth of a ship. The waters break and the ship makes its way down the birth canal to reach the dock. The doctor who signs a certificate for the ship's resources and the resources are delivered. The banks of the canal control the flow of the current. The banks control the flow of the currency and the current withdraws from the bank and leaves deposits in the bank. It's the sea of commerce. I'm still trying to develop this idea further. When a woman is in labour, which is a commercial term, she is contracting. Contracting, another commercial term which applies to the sea of commerce. We contract with employers when we sell them our labour. So what's a levy? It's something to do with water, isn't it? Taxes are levied. And if we don't pay as levy, we have to go to court and stand in the dock. So what I'm saying is, from this perspective, when you register a child with the state and it gets its citizenship, it becomes a human resource from the waters, a serf applicable to maritime admiralty law, statutes and acts, not the law of the land. From this perspective, you are owned by the state. When you register a child with the state, you become the legal guardian, the legal guardian of the human resources that was delivered to the dock. Or it could be just a cool story that I've told you. Do with it as you will. I am merely a, a conduit of the collective unconscious. Because words are spells, they, they are spelled. I'm trying to add more to the death part of this story. A corpse is an abbreviation of corporations, a corpse, which are also registered and applicable to maritime admiralty. The mortgage, the morgue, it's all in there somewhere. Isn't it said that the Leviathan will rise from the waters? It's somewhere in the Bible in Revelations, I could be wrong. Anyway, I'm leaving you with that thought for now. I hope it's helpful. It has been for me over the years. I hope it helps you understand that there is a deeper narrative to what's going on. The real rulers of this world are geniuses of the highest order. They've got social engineering down to an exact science. And they do de deserve, they do deserve some level of respect. No matter how evil they are, you have to give it to them. And there is something of a, a relaxing feeling about that. A sort of peace, you know? Yeah, so... Peace, love and Gandhi. Enjoy your day.